Hi, my name is Robert Stellman. Today I'm going to show you how to place boreholes from your borehole logs into plan. Then we're going to put them onto the profile. And then finally we're going to create a subsurface from one of the levels in those boreholes. We're going to start by selecting from many areas, place boreholes in plan. Uh, our borehole prefix number will be, uh, we'll start with prefix of borehole, starting number of one. Um, going to have the top one as topsoil, then we're going to have some silt, then finally some clay, oh, and finally water. Uh, we're going to place our borehole, and up comes, uh, it's gotten a depth from our surface, because we only have one surface, it hasn't prompted it for us. Uh, we have 0 0.3 meters to our first level of topsoil. Then we have uh, 1.1 to our silt. Uh, we can also change uh, our uh, text. Maybe it's a silty clay. Whatever you want to put in there, it will show up on the borehole log. Then we're going to put in our depth for to our clay as maybe 2.0. And finally, the depth to the water is 3.2. You go OK, and then you place your next one, and you go through that process. I've placed five or six onto my drawing, and now I'm going to put them onto the profile. So again, many areas. Place boreholes in profile. We select our alignment. Uh, here's our text height, and then we select our boreholes. And we would just select them and in any order, enter. And it's placed all of our boreholes onto our profile with our borehole number, um, the topsoil depth, or the descriptors that we put in there. And it's also showing us what that elevations are at the borehole itself and the uh, different levels. Now we want to place, uh, create a subsurface from those boreholes. So under Site, Many Areas, Create Subsurface from Borehole, we select our original ground as our surface. Uh, we're going to call the new one strip, so that means we're going to use the top level. And we're going to tell it we want contours and triangles. And we're going to limit it to the boreholes. We could have it extrapolate from the limit borehole limits to the limits of the original surface, but we're going to stop at the boreholes. We just go OK. And from there you can see that we've created a new surface limited to the boreholes, representing our strip surface. I've created a quick profile, and here's my original ground, and here's my new top surface that represents the uh, strip surface. And you can see that we've paralleled it. We've kept it about 0.3. Again, enough of how Steltman Software can make you more productive. Uh, visit our website and try it out at steltmansoftware.com.